Hi, welcome back. It's Anna. Okay, May stationary chit chat. Honestly, I don't feel like there's been a lot of change since my last few videos. I'm still in my onion skin journal. This is journal number 157. I am a little under about halfway of use, so I've, I've got a while in this, which I'm very glad. I'm still going strong on journaling less this year. I'm very happy about that. I broke out my Traveler's Notebook passport size for collaging. I think I might have mentioned that in a previous video. This has been really nice for, especially when I just want to shut down at night. I'm too tired to really journal. I can go in here, play with stickers and paper, stick it on there, and still feel like I got something done without having to do all the strategizing that I do with the onion skin paper. I've been really enjoying this and I've really missed my passport size a lot. So, and my traveler's notebook. Since using the onion skin journal, that's made me really miss my traveler's notebook as that usually happens when I'm not using it. I, I love my TN so much. This has been really nice. I've been enjoying that. And I've been using my Galen Leather Folio as kind of a carry-all for all of the larger papers that don't quite fit anywhere else. Because my Onion Skin Journal doesn't have the built-in storage system that my Traveler's Notebook has with all the folders and things like that, this has been really nice. I use it to house stickers, sticker paper. I can have washi cards up here if I want. There's uh, rub-ons in here, um, vellum pieces, sticker tape, lots of different things that I can use. But this has been really nice as like a catch-all and I've really enjoyed carrying it like this. So when I do move back into my traveler's notebook, I actually plan on keeping this as like a separate entity to just kind of have with my traveler's notebook and then use for all of my little things. I really enjoy the feel of just this by itself rather than slipping it into my traveler's notebook because I've found that my traveler's notebook has just been, it's too thick with all the stuff that's in there already because I keep a lot of photos of my daughter in there and that really added a lot of bulk to it already. So I've been really enjoying this the way it is. I plan on keeping my system like this for future use. And then I did make a couple purchases. I made the B-Sides and Rarity purchase, just a small one. I got the sticker release paper booklet that I can add to my traveler's notebook. And it's just a sticker book, so it's got that slick backing that I can add stickers to. So I've not been adding too much for now. Um, These are samples that I got from my friend, the cool clear tape. But so far it's been really nice. Everything peels off nicely. It hasn't stuck to it at all. So I'll kind of slowly be uh, adding to this and then get that set up eventually. And then I wanted to try the super lightweight paper. This is supposed to be lighter than the 013 Tomoe River paper insert. And uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how this will work out. I'm not gonna try it just yet. I'm not gonna do anything until I move into that system. I, I'm one of those people that doesn't like to test out things on random notebooks until I'm about to use it. Um, so that will kind of just sit off to the side, but that's my little purchase from that collection that just came out. I don't plan on getting anything else. This is perfectly fine for me. And then I think I got this like a month ish ago or maybe a little bit longer I don't remember this is from blinks of life I got three stamps from that shop it's a beautiful shop they have beautiful stamps and I wanted to take advantage of like the shipping because it was a little high so I didn't want to get just the one stamp the one that first caught my eye was the Emma quote there is no charm equal to tenderness of heart I had to have this when I saw it I was also reading Emma at the time when I saw this, and I'm like, this is a sign. I had to get it. And uh, I thought these two had really great sentiments. It says, Monday morning, start the day with beautiful thoughts. And today, do something beautiful. 
they're beautiful stamps and I've been using these a lot. So these have been a nice little addition to my stamp collection. My stamp collection's built up a lot since last year because I've decided suddenly that I love stamps. I used to kind of let stamping be the one thing that I would let go if I didn't have time to journal. And last year was all about stickers. This year, it's definitely been stamps because I have been stamping papers more and then cutting them out and then putting double-sided tape on the back. So when I'm ready to start using those images, they're already cut out and I can just peel off the double-sided tape and stick it down like a sticker. So I've been prepping my stamped papers like that as a way to kind of do quick journaling. And I have ready-made like stickers for my journal pages. And then I am buying some matte sticker paper and that's gonna be on its way to me. Um, and I will plan to just kind of spend an afternoon, just a couple hours or something, if I can get that to myself and just stamp a bunch of my favorite stamps onto that sticker paper. And then I'm gonna cut everything out so it's on the ready-made like, st you know, peel stick sticker paper. That's my plan for stamps, and that's why I've been kind of heavily investing in stamps this past year or so. I've made a couple changes in my pen roll. I still have my Lamy Safari inked up with fog gray here. I have a charcoal Lamy Safari that I forgot at my friend's house, and that's also inked up. Um, that's inked up with the Jane Austen ink. So those are gonna be the two main inks that I am going to be using as well as this one that I recently took out yesterday. I haven't inked it up yet, but I plan on inking this Lilliput brass fountain pen up with a black ink because I miss journaling with a black ink. I used to only journal in black ink, but it's a beautiful brass pen. It's already starting to build up that patina from where I usually hold it. And I don't use this fountain pen a lot and I really want to rotate through. So these past few months, I've been taking each one out and using it so they don't just sit around and look pretty in a drawer. And then I have my dad's old cigarette case from back when he traveled to Japan. And I'm using this as sticker storage. He wasn't using it and uh, he's like, yeah, go ahead. Um, so it's been nice to kind of have creative storage options slowly introduced into my, my desk space because I feel like for me, when I start reorganizing my stickers and things like that, it gives me an opportunity to not only see what I have, like what I'm using, what I'm not using, but also kind of changing up the storage, kind of re revamps the space it kind of revamps my creativity if that makes sense i don't know for me i constantly like to have little changes done around my desk space and i personally also like organizing that relaxes me so all of those different reasons combined it kind of reignites my creativity and i kind of needed that one of the examples of new sticker storage is I decided to use my little flat caboodles case that I'd had for a while and oops, things got moved around a little bit and I've decided to use it as like sticker flake storage. I mean do I really need to have all my sticker flakes spread out like this? No, but it's been fun to kind of have it sit in a new case so it's um, a little different and I can have fun pulling it out and cycling through it. And then the other big change is this, which is my current kind of journal case. If you followed me a while, you know that I constantly like to change up my journal kits. And uh, recently I had posted about wanting the Classic Toolbox again. I've been wanting one since like 2016 when I first saw it, but I can't quite justify the price more or less because I have beautiful cases and I've got fun storage all over my 
desk space. I have vintage cigar boxes. I've got a hobby box from the container store and I've got this. I've had this since 2017. I couldn't quite justify paying that much for a wooden box. So to get that out of my system, I decided to take this out, which previously had all my paint supplies in, and I decided to play around with it as my journal kit. It's been really nice. I really love this thing. It's got a lot of character. It's from the Sears Roebuck Company. How cool is that? It actually says it right there. Made in USA. It's got the guy's name on it, or her, whoever it is, but it's their old label right there. It's starting to rust in certain places. It's wearing off a little bit, but there's a lot of character. I love the color. It looks great on the desk. I've had this sitting on my desk open like this a few times too in the many iterations of how I set up my desk because my desk space is always changing. And I've got all the things that I normally use in here. My deli kit's in here. Random hand. My daughter was playing with it. I just didn't want to lose it because I've got the pair. So <laughs> random, weird. It's in here. I threw it in here. And uh, my watercolor kit's back here. But uh, everything I need for journaling is kind of just sit in here. Oops, that was loud. And yep, that's my current case. Not much else has changed with my journaling. That's kind of it. I don't have too many things that have happened with my journal that I haven't posted about. But uh, if you are looking for journal updates from me. You can follow me on my Instagram. I post a lot about that, but lately it's all about just kind of, I don't know, enjoying life, watching movies. I've been enjoying lots of books, catching up on magazines and cooking. I've been doing a lot of that. And that's it. If you have any questions, uh, do let me know down below. I have started to add frequently asked questions down into the description box. So I'm going to start adding that. So if you have any questions about like supplies, where I get things, if it's a question that I haven't answered, I'll add it to the next videos FAQs, but I'm going to add all that into the description box because it's getting to a point where I'm getting a lot of the same questions and I'm not able to spend all that time answering the same questions. Links for things that I use often will be down below as well but all my social media activities on Instagram. So you can follow me there. And um, hello to new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. I saw a lot of growth in my uh, channel the last two months or so. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're all having fun in your journals and enjoying time with family as things open up. And... Let me know how you are um, enjoying life so far. If you've been doing a lot of reading or just focusing on other hobbies aside from journaling, I know I have. And take care. Bye.